Hey, hey everybody and welcome back to another budget with me. So we are in our Erin Condren monthly deluxe planner. It is a seven by nine. We are in the last month of the year being December and we are about to set up our weekly check-in and paycheck breakdown for this month. So first off, we are gonna flip to the page behind our December budget here and set up our weekly check-in and transaction log there. And we have today Sarah Marie's weekly check-in kit as well as a transaction log and two different ones of her thick washi here. So let's go ahead and do the transaction side first. All right. This side is always the easiest, as long as the stickers go down right. All right, so there's that side. We'll go ahead and lay down this one. We can throw that away. description so i like to do the transaction log so i can see a running a running log here on the side and it gives you a description area where you can write down where it was if there was it was what store it was if it was certain things certain items that you needed to purchase things like that which i really love being able to keep up with so there's the transaction side so our check-in side we have four weeks in december that we will be checking in for in the last few days we will just do with our monthly results video at the end of the month going into january so y'all will probably see that then so we're just going to go ahead and lay this down and the first half of the month i usually only have four categories that we check in for which is gas groceries, spending, and miscellaneous. So one, two, three, four. All right. One, two, three, four. Go. One, two, three, four. We'll skip one line just in case on that third week we might end up in a budget because that will be Christmas week. All right. And then let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five. Mm. I think we'll just use a thin washi here and kind of close it out. So let's use this one. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so now let's go ahead and draw in our lines for this page here. So they're all ready to go. We're gonna use our pretty red, make it festive. So, what are y'all looking forward to in December? Is it a party, family gathering, a special gift, spending time with loved ones? What do y'all look forward in the holidays let's know I love getting to know all of you viewers all right so there's that side with the lines now we're gonna go over on this side and just draw a line all the way down go category leave plenty of room for description so we can use that we need one more washi let's use the same for this page all right so that is complete this is the easy page so next we're going to do our paycheck breakdown which we do on this sheet here so we are going to take another Sarah, Sarah Marie's thick washi here and lay it at the top. 
And this is why I want to be able to create my own sticker so I can lay, make a kit for myself that fits my layout that I have here because I like seeing all of our paychecks in one page and not all over the place. It just simplifies it really easy for me. And I have other ways of keeping up with individuals such as like sinking funds. So it works. So we are going to start with our income. So first up, all right, so for income, we have three, we write down three different ways. We write down James, which he has a full-time job that he works and we, that's mainly our income is him solely. And then we have anything that I bring in between YouTube, Etsy, YouTube, Etsy, Herbalife, um, those are the three main, main income sources that I have that come in. And then other would be from anything that we sell or we cash out on any of our apps that we like to use or even like volunteering and helping out, um, with friends and stuff with events that they throw different things like that depends on where it goes there so total okay so next we have our expenses listed here all right so let's go ahead and draw our line all the way down because it's going to take the whole page all right, so our expenses will start with the highest groceries, the Mazda, rent, power, Allstate. AT&T, which is our cell phone, gas for our cars, or the lawnmower to cut grass outside, water, charter, which is our internet, student loans, pest control, We got a storage unit so we can start packing up things that we don't need in the house and putting somewhere because we have a small house and it's really cluttered. So we're trying to go through and declutter and get rid of things that we don't need, but putting things away that we do need for later. So we got a storage unit. Then we have spending. Miscellaneous. We have our cushion which our cushion just keeps us from going over in our account if we have to use it savings sinking funds and debt and then this last little bitty line is our total all right so it's a tight squeeze this month but it's fine we will work with it. All right, so the next line that we like to draw in, or the next section that we draw in, is our budgeted amount that we have for each line item. So what we budget for everything. All right, so James's income that we're budgeting to come in December to pay for no uh, to pay for all of our bills and expenses in January is twenty eight hundred. For me, it's about a hundred, and then other is zero because it's just unpredictable. So that gives us about twenty nine hundred to work with for our budget for this breakdown. 
So our groceries, we have went down to 600 for the month of January. The Mazda is 601. Rent is 600. Power, we're looking at about 200. Allstate, I still have it 193, but I'm not going to write that in case it is different when the next bill pops up um, because it was more this past month. So I want to make sure it's back to normal amount before I write it down. Allstate or AT&T, which is our cell phone or yeah, cell phone is 183. Gas, we have bumped it up to 175. For water, it is 80. Charter, it is 70. Student loans, 57. Pest control, 33. Storage is 37, I believe. Spending, we're only looking at about 21 with what we have here. Miscellaneous is 50. The rest of these aren't looking to get anything as of right now at the beginning of this month. But hopefully his paychecks and what I bring in will help cover all of that but if we have all of these numbers here they do equal to 2900 if this is the one 93 like it should be hopefully it is it will equal the 29 because you can't go over what your least amount expected that way you're not stuck in a pickle all right so our next lines are all our paycheck breakdowns so paycheck one We'll just go in, write out how much income was brought in for all of our paychecks and fill in, go off of that to fill in how much we were putting in each of our categories. And we do that for each one of our paychecks. And this month there are four for James and we base it off of his because he gets our most of our income to provide for us. So, all right, there's three. Last one, paycheck four. All right. And if you've been following my channel, you know I have one more line. It is our total line, which means I just go through and add paycheck one through four or one through five, depending on the month, and give us a total amount. That way I can see what we set in budget and how much we actually got in and see the difference that way. And for our expenses down here, it's a way for me to know if we are on track with what we budgeted or if we're over or if we're under that way we kind of have an idea on where everything went and it's just easier to all look at in one place right here paycheck four and total so then i can transfer all of our total numbers over here for up here and it's perfect and then the bottom numbers here have our numbers for our January budget, which is how it works for us. Let's see. We are at 13 minutes for this video. All right. So, so far we did our first budget with me. We set up our calendar for our monthly view here, as well as our budgets, December budget there. And this paycheck budget with me, we did our paycheck breakdown. Oh, we need our sticker for our paycheck breakdown which I got a, a Etsy shop owner, Kate Budgets, to create these for me. I was really happy. Finally got some made. But there is Paycheck Breakdown. Can't forget that. And we also have our weekly set, weekly check-in and transaction log set up and ready to go for December. I'm super excited. I'm ready to go for December, as y'all cannot tell by how excited I am with my voice. <laughs> But we will have one more budget with me setting of our sinking funds as well as our debt tracker. So y'all stay tuned for that video. It should be coming next. If not, have a space in between with another video. What we shall see. But I can't wait to catch y'all in the next one. Bye-bye now.